As for myself, I'm here today as a volunteer, so long as, uh, same as only Danny and the Brocklebank. We've got a lot of good men volunteering, uh, all with seagoing experience. Some of them were tugmen, the majority went deep sea, engineers, captains, pilots, uh, but we've got a good balanced crew of experienced men. And anybody who's got a few hours to spare, they'll always be made welcome to come down because basically our jobs are washing down, scaling rust, painting, greasing, general maintenance. And everybody has something to offer. Um, a skilled man can still use a paintbrush or wash down. And so we need everybody. Uh, we find it difficult to get young people. Uh, we'd like to have young people because we're getting no younger. And you want to think if these two vessels are going to continue in preservation we need younger people to come in and learn if you like learn the the, the, the maintenance trade on both boats to keep them going um, we understand a lot of people young people are looking for work or they've got a job where the likes of ourselves most of us are retired so we can afford to do donate the time to the tugs but if anybody out there would be willing to come uh, either down to the Brockle Bank. We're here on a Monday and a Thursday, and on the steam tug, uh, they're there on a Tuesday and Friday. Uh, they always be made welcome. Uh, there'll always be a brew, uh, homely welcome, and um, yes, we would make them very welcome if they wanted to <coughs> continue coming down. Uh, I was on these a long time ago as a young man, and I never thought I'd ever come back uh, as a volunteer on two preserved tugs because there were, when I left them there was plenty of them about and you had this feeling that they'll just be there forever and overnight as I said before the modern type of tug now has eclipsed all these and overnight what was a familiar sight and seen yesterday is no more um, and you know but for me these have the character um, I admit if I was young today I would be happy to work on today's modern tug with all its conveniences uh, instead of a bucket of water on the old steamers and throw it over yourself in the stoke hold that was your shower. Nowadays the, every convenience on the modern tug which is only right because it's your home and you put many many hours in on them. Uh, awkward hours on the tide so yes although I'm a, a nostalgic volunteer given the choice of either tug and going back in time I would love to think I was on a brand new modern one uh, because these old girls were hard work um, uh, but we do it now because well we're just enthusiastic old fools I suppose you know but there you go but the camaraderie's good really good and you know it's about time Merseyside had its little fleet of preserved vessels it's usually London that uh, steals the limelight with the uh, you know the Cutty Sark and Victory and uh, they're more or less static vessels we know but it's nice for Merseyside to have its own little heritage fleet if you like um, and we take it from there hope that things carry on that way uh, and that somebody out there <coughs> has always got uh, a couple of bob to spare to keep them going because they need funding obviously the old old enemy money paint costs money oil, fuel, uh, but we live in hope um, and we just, we look forward to tomorrow on both of the tugs. Thank you.